1340 96.5 KVGC. Yes, indeed. As we've been announcing all morning long, it is day three of the Kit Carson Mountain Men Wagon Train. They'll be leaving their encampment off of New Chicago Road about 9 o'clock, heading into uh, Amador City, Sutter Creek, then eventually making it to the Italian Picnic Grounds tonight. Again, we want to remind you, uh, Amador Transit with a rider alert. Uh, riders of the Dry Town to Amador City and Sutter Creek bus routes uh, could see some delays today due to the wagon train. Hey, let's check in with Lucy Hackett. She's been riding the... Uh, I don't know, have you been walking or riding a mule or a horse? I, I got a call yesterday from Dolores Larrigan that said yes. there are more mules than horses in the wagon train, and mules were used more than horses in wagon trains because they are better suited for the task. Did you know that? A little tougher, yeah, there, and there are some beautiful mules. I mean, there are mules, and there are really nice mules, and they've got some really nice mules in the wagon train. Yeah, they had a, they actually had a pretty tough day yesterday. Uh, some of the wagons had to drop out. The combination of the heat and our long winter season, you know, uh, the animals have to be in shape just like we do, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, the, and the long winter kept them, you know, kind of, you know, you can't really work that hard in the mud. So uh, so with the animals' welfare first in mind, a couple of the wagons had to uh, call it for the day yesterday. So we'll see We'll see who's in shape for this morning. Uh, but they are leaving this morning at 9 o'clock from their uh, camp on Old Chicago Road. And if you are interested in taking photographs, I think a really beautiful opportunity will be this morning between 9 and 10, the wagon train is going to be taking those back roads from Dry Town to Amador City. Mm-hmm. They're going to be going on, let me see the actual roads. I mean, you, you kind of know it's, it's Turner Road to Mayflower to Fremont Mine to Bunker Hill. Um, and those are, that's, that's gorgeous this time of year. And uh, although the roads are narrow, so remember, you're going to have to make room for the wagon train. But if you're able, if you want to try to get uh, some cool photographs of the wagon train, I think that would be a great place to do it. Then they should, uh, all things going well, they should get to Amador City about 10 o'clock for a stop, and then the rest of the way on up to Sutter Creek, then again on the back roads, which should be pretty nice too, Amador Creek Road and Turner Road, and then Old Amador Road uh, into Sutter Creek, the back way um, past uh, Amador High School, and then through Sutter Creek. They, they're uh, planning for an hour or so lunch break in Sutter Creek, but depending on how everybody's doing, you know, it's a pretty good grade up into, out of Amador City and then up into Sutter Creek. So uh, they, if they have to stop and rest along the way, that may put them put them behind schedule. Uh, hard for them to say exactly when they're going to get to Sutter Creek. Sure, sure. Well, Lucy, yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued. So what do they do? Are there tow wagons or tow horses or how do they well, <laughs> what do they do when a wagon can't make it anymore what do you well, hook up they, with? Have, they have a lot of big trucks and trailers that accompany the the wagon train it actually is it's kind of funny because it takes about uh five acres of uh diesel powered equipment to move a horse powered wagon train <laughs> there's a yeah they got some pretty nice rigs. That's how they all got here in Amador County. Most of them are from out of the area a little yeah. bit anyway. So, yeah. right. so that's how they travel. Hey, but so hey, tonight, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. Tell us about the entertainment and all that tonight. Well, there's going to be this young man, our uh, singer. I, I think you're familiar with him. I think uh, Jake Geedy is his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to be playing at the Italian Picnic Grounds. At the J- Jackson Crane Jumpers Square Dancers are going to do a demo dance and. Um, uh, entertain for a little bit. The wagon train will be there with its interpretive wagon, and I have the menu here, Lot and Ranch menu. Uh, the barbecue tonight for fifteen dollars for adults is a quarter of Italian chicken, corn on the cob, church potatoes, broccoli salad, biscuits with butter and honey, and your choice of coffee, milk, soda, or bottled water. So, uh, and they also have a seven dollar small plate for kids ten and under. So yeah, if you uh, it's Friday night, you want to go out, instead of cooking, why not go out and have some barbecue with the wagon train and relax a little bit at the picnic ground. It's going to be a beautiful evening tonight. All right, and then it's going to be a great day tomorrow. Will you call us, call yep. us tomorrow and let us know how, how it is? I will uh... call you tomorrow and let okay. you know. So yeah, tomorrow, of course, it's Lawton Ranch 
Uh, they're hoping to get there around noon or so and then spend the afternoon and the evening with the wagon train with a whole lot going on, try to tip dinner again, uh, live music from Warm Charlie Band in the evening, uh, petting zoo, um, and just, just, you know, some great vendors, some fun crafts for kids that are kind of pioneer-related. I know one gal is going to be doing um, leather stamping for mm-hmm, kids mm-hmm. and some, uh, I think, you know, if you're lucky, maybe you can do some axe throwing. <laughs> That's a big you thing know, now, axe the, throwing. Do you know that? Mount- yeah, that is a big thing now. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, uh, I saw um, uh, Bobby and Jim Lawton posted, and I'm not ex- exactly sure on their Facebook page, uh, one of their dads was an original mountain man, and I don't know if it was Jim's or Bobby's, and I probably should, maybe Jim's. But anyway, when the mountain men were first forming, they called themselves the Whiskerinos. <laughs> 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 and then they changed their name to Kit Carson Mountain Men, but boy, I like Whiskerinos. <laughs> I think that is just great. So All anyway, right. uh, enjoy these folks. They put a lot of work into getting the getting their, all their gear and their horses and their mules and everybody out and uh, trying to put together uh, some uh, fun pioneer celebration for all of us here in Embro County. Lucy, also, mm-hmm. uh, also the wagon train will be coming through Jackson on Main Street tomorrow, but not stopping, just going through on the way to Lawton's? Do I... Right. Well, they're going to... Actually, they're going to go visit. As they come into town, they're going to visit the... Um, Senior Center and Oak Manor uh, residential home there, and then they're going to come down Main Street. They will probably stop for a short period of time, but it's there's no blocking of the traffic gotcha. or um, gotcha. or or no problem with parking. So yeah. you'll be able to to visit with them for just a few minutes before they come out to Lot and Ranch. But then on Sunday, today. Sunday is the real parade. Uh, City Sunday, of Jackson's already put right. signs out: no parking on Main Street on Sunday. Right, eleven o'clock. It's the wagon train parade with a few with a few friends with a few friends of the wagon train, and uh, Jim and I will be uh, on on the overhead speaker at on Main Street, giving you a little bit of information about the wagoneers and their and their animals and their wagons. So All right, we'll see you out there on Sunday morning too. Lucy, thank you. All right, thank you, Jim. All righty, take care. Bye. All right, Lucy Hackett again. The uh, Kit Carson Mountain Men will be leaving the um, encampment at New Chicago Road about 9 o'clock. They hope to make it into Amador City about 10. And then sometime, uh, hopefully before school is out, they want to make it into Sutter Creek, and they'll stop for about an hour in Sutter Creek, and then they'd like to make it to the Italian picnic grounds and get all set up by about 3 o'clock. And again, you can join the Mountain Men for dinner tonight. There's a slight charge for that. But just to come watch the entertainment and talk with the folks, absolutely free. Well, the Plymouth City Council moved quickly through a number of administrative items at their first meeting with new city manager Rex Osborne Thursday night or last night. Now, the council approved a budget adjustment in which a groundskeeper position was changed to a lower-paid entry-level position as a cost-saving measure. The council also approved moving forward with a request for proposals to codify the city's municipal code This is the process of formally compiling and publishing the city's laws and regulation, which helps in enforcement and legal justification of the code. Two items held over for additional changes and edits. The first, a contract to update the city developer impact fees, where council members sought additional bidders for the contract. And the second, an update to the city's personnel handbook, which was held over so additional changes could be made to the employee benefits section. Well, air and ground crews battled a five-acre vegetation fire in the Sheep Ranch area yesterday afternoon. The flames broke out just after 2 off Armstrong Road near Hawkwind Way in thick brush and timber. No structures were threatened. Six engines, a helicopter, and a hand crew were used in the wildland fight. The fire was contained just before 4 o'clock. Firefighters remained on scene through the afternoon with mop-up operations. The cause of yesterday's fire under investigation and is just another reminder that despite the, uh, you know, the heavy rains and snows of this past winter, fire season is basically with us year-round here in the foothills. Well, as the weather warms and the snow melt intensifies, now's the time more than ever to be extremely cautious near local lakes and rivers. 
Well, a group of kayakers learned the hard way on the McCullamy River this week after a member of their party capsized and fell out of his boat. According to the Amador Sheriff's Office, the kayakers pulled over at Big Bar just below 49 to call the Sheriff's Office after 45 minutes of being unable to locate their capsized friend. Several deputies, including specialized drone operators and swift water rescue personnel, responded to the scene. The missing kayaker was safely located after floating all the way to the Middle Bar area, or Middle Bar Bridge area. The deep Sierra snowpack will continue to cause our rivers to run swift, cold, and much higher than normal for the next month or two. The Sheriff's Office strongly recommends everyone stay out of the water unless you have specialized training, experience, and proper protective equipment. Water and boating safety at nearby lakes and reservoirs is equally important. As approximately 70% of all boating fatality accidents result from drowning, and almost 85% of those who drown are not wearing a life jacket. Remember, having a life jacket on board won't save lives, but wearing one will. And tomorrow from 10 to 2, the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office will be participating in the Drug Enforcement Administration's National Take Back Day. The program is designed to provide a safe, convenient, and ecologically responsible method of prescription drug disposal while also educating the public about the potential for abuse of medications. Two drop-off locations will be open tomorrow, Toyon Middle School parking lot off Double Springs Road and at the Calaveras County Office of Education parking lot in Angels Camp. Prescription drugs are a common cause of accidental poisoning in children and should not be kept around if they're no longer needed. Leftover prescription opioid painkillers in particular pose a risk for addiction and overdose. Now, the service is free, no questions asked. And now, while no locations will be manned tomorrow in Amador County, residents can drop off prescription drugs year-round at a number of locations, including the Sheriff's Office, both the Jackson and Ione Police Departments, the Well Space Health Center off of Prospect Drive, and Ione Pharmacy. Remember, disposing of these unwanted medications through approved drop-off uh, locations like these help eliminate the possibility of abuse, misuse, and drugs getting into the wrong hands. And the Master Gardeners of Amador County have announced the date for their annual plant sale. Start your spring gardening off right by picking up your favorite tomato or other veggie varieties tomorrow from 10 to 2 at the American Legion Hall. Now, if you're not sure what to plant, Master Gardeners can make suggestions and recommendations based on what has grown well for them in your area. Come early for the best selection. All proceeds from the sales support free classes, free programs, and activities provided to the community by the Master Gardeners. If you have questions about the plant sale or other gardening issues, call the Master Gardeners 10 to noon, Tuesday through Thursday at 223-6838. And that's a look at local news on a gold country Friday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather 24 hours a day, visit our website, kvgcradio.com.